come back to Eric's workshop. We will continue from where we left off from the last video. We were talking about unleashing their strength. That is chapter four of my book, Discovering the Unique Child, We Can Do It. The other, the last video before this, we touched on using play to cultivate their imagination and then seeking out what makes your child unique. We discussed both these two topics on the previous video. So we will continue from where we left off. Please share, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you, you'll be notified um, when the next video comes up. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's set the ball rolling. But before that, I would like to give you a brief synopsis of the COVID protocols in place. Um, the government says mask, face, and then hands. So it means that when you are going out there, make sure you wear your mask, make sure you wash your hands, make sure you respect the two meter rule space. Um, we are in London lockdown um, in tier four, but I don't know if we're going to be shooting up to tier five or it's going to come down. We don't have any clue. So whenever it's reviewed, we will know exactly what to do. So please observe the COVID protocols. Protocols is very important so that you wouldn't contract the disease. And the good news is the vaccines are in. So we are praying that it's going to be rolled out from um, county to country, county to county, and um, every GP will have their stock so that everybody gets their vaccine. Um, but I've heard that if you have allergies, maybe you have to speak to your GP first before you go for the vaccine because some individuals are reacting with the vaccine whereby they have allergy problems. So bear in mind that you have to talk to your GP first if you've got allergy problems like hay fever sufferers. So let's continue from where we left off. Chapter four of my book, Unleashing Their Strength. So we touched on use, play, and cultivate the imagination. Seek out what makes your child unique. So we will be talking about keeping their journal, strength journal. Keep a strength journal. So let, let me carry on. Let's read from where we left off. Take note of the things your child does, anything that strikes you about his or her behavior. Here are a few of the kinds of questions that will guide you. Number one, what causes your child to express, to express joy and happiness? Number two, what are the things that keep his or a attention the longest. So let's say if you talk about or write this question down, what causes your child to express joy and happiness? It means that you have to look at the very things that incites your child to be happy, that makes him or her happy. So if there is anything that you need to put in that strength journal, you need to ask that question that what incites my child or what makes my child happy or express joy. So that is going to be a very basic fundamental factor that will help you build your child's strength. So that is the number one question. Or maybe your child have a different preference of whatever they do that makes them happy. Maybe playing football makes them happy. Maybe playing with their friends, playing some kind of other games or going on the slide and other stuff. So you have to put everything down to make sure that you have that information 
in your child's strength journal. And number two, what are the things that keep him or her attention the longest? So that is the number two question. You have to make sure that you pick on the very things that grab their attention. So it means that everything that grabs your child's attention for a very long time, you have to make a note of that in the strength journal. And this is something that you look on in building up your child's confidence and strength and to making sure that you invest in that area that will develop him or her the most. So looking at the things that attracts or, you know, give him or her that attention the longest. So you have to pick on things like whatever makes him or her happy first. And then secondly, what attracts that individual, that child that keeps him or her going for a very long time. If it's reading of books that attracts his or her attention for a long time, you have to make note of that. If playing games on the video games or playing with kids of his or her own age, that keeps him or her going for a very long time, you need to take note of that because that will obviously help you evaluate your child if there are any strength in there. Because some kids behave differently and the number one thing that is going to keep somebody's attention, a child A attention, is going to be different from a child B attention. So it's all going to work out when you keep the journal strength of that child. So it's the number two question that you have to be very attentive to that. And um, the number three question, are there sounds or ways he or she reacts to more than others? So there are some sounds that an individual child will react to more than others. So you have to keep that strength journal of that. Pick that sound, make note of that, and then keep that information because it's going to help you develop your child into a very wonderful being with talent, raw talent that will help him in future. The number four question that you have to keep in your strength journal is, is he or she generous? How does he or she show this? So the generosity of your child is also another key point. If your child is selfish or selfless, if they play generously, giving others their toys and then receiving them back, or they don't want to share, so that sharing bit is also an area that you have to look at and then keep a note on that in the strength journal. That is also good for evaluation and feedback whenever there's anything that you want to conclude on your child. And then does he show any sympathy or he or she is caring or funny? Give examples. So in keeping your strength journal, you have to have that question answered so that you keep it. Is that child very caring? Does he or she has sympathy towards others? Has he got a good heart? Is he caring? Does he share? You know, all these questions will come out in the long run for you to be able to evaluate your child. And these are the pointers towards the strength journal. You have to keep these things in the strength journals. And the, another question is, what are the first thing he or she says in the morning and the last thing he or she says at night? So these are some of the questions that needs to be kept in the strength journal. What are the last things they say and what are the first things they say when they wake up in the morning? These are developing your child's strength. With all this information, you'll be able to determine where your child has got 
the confidence and where your child's strengths are. Because you, you need to know the weakness of, the, of, of your child and the strength of your child so that you can help them develop their weakness and then enhance their strength. So we are done with that point. Let's go on the second point. Create family tradition. That is part of developing your child's strength as well. You create a family tradition. And let's read from here. Creating family traditions help children to discover their relationship strengths. Relationships strength are the things you do for and with others, with other people that make you feel proud. So, in order for the child to figure this out, they need to reflect on their interaction and dealings with others and recall the ones that made them feel most positive. So creating family tradition is about the child interacting with others and child interacting with their siblings and their parents and their nieces and their family members. This is where you will get the information to build their strength journal. So as they interact with each other, you get that information on how good they are in terms of their communication skills, in terms of how they develop their interactive skills, in terms of what they develop their interactions with one another. So you pick on all those things and then put it in the strength journal that is going to help you assess your child in areas of their strength and weakness. So let's carry on with, with, with where we left off. So family traditions give children positive memories. So let's say on every 25th, before the 25th arrived like Christmas time, you box items or you wrap gifts and put it under your Christmas tree is a tradition in the family. And when the time comes for you to unwrap your gifts and your presents, what discussions and what are the stuff, the communication, what are the interactions that happen in and among the siblings and in and among the parents in regards to the kids. So these are all the factors that you need to what? you need to gather in their strength journal. So it's a tradition. Every 25th, the child knows that there's going to be an unwrapping of presents. And within that time, there is conversation going on. Everybody is discussing, everybody is talking to each other, everybody is happy, what um, topics they talk about when unwrapping their um, presents. So these bring very positive memories memories that will forever be in their in their mind and these are some of the things that build their confidence so how do you celebrate birthdays is another memory you know there's a tradition of how a particular family sort of organize their birthday parties or their birthdays every year so it's a tradition maybe they go out to have lunch or they go out to have dinner or they cook a meal and invite friends or they cook a meal and then sit at a round table and eat and pray pray before they eat so there's a kind of tradition that goes on in the family on a timely basis if periodic if it's a yearly if it's monthly if it's weekly it is a tradition that brings positive memories all the time to that individual kid. So for example, if you have a tradition of making birthday child a king or a queen for a day or for that day and you repeatedly do some nice things like letting them choose their favorite meal, later in life children will recall this and be more apt to want to do this for others. So it gives them that positive vibe and it helps them to maintain that kind of tradition. And in their later life, they will prefer to help others in the same way because that really um, brought happiness in their lives. 
and it's a positive memory that is going to be there for a long time so they try to do that for others as well because they have they've experienced it and they know exactly when and how they enjoyed that particular tradition so they would like to extend it even if they are also going to marry or if they're going to have family they will extend that tradition into that family so um as we read later on in life children will recall this and be more apt to want to do this for others the more traditions you develop where children have an active role in creating meaning for others the easier it will be for them in later life to identify what causes them to feel good about while contributing to others so this is a positive sort of um, vibe that remains with them for the rest of their lives and it's part of building their confidence it's part of making them whole it's part of developing them to be leaders it's part of giving them that edge to be able to be happy in life a tradition like letting your children design their own menu for the week gives them a sense of value integrity and ownership they feel part of the decision making process in their own environment so a tradition as i mentioned earlier like allowing them to design their own menu for the week it empowers them it gives them that sense of ownership and integrity it gives them that responsibility it gives them that commitment to be part of the family and it builds their confidence so if they grow up they will obviously um, exercise that prowess in their family as well so we will continue from where we left off in the next video but in the meantime please share like and subscribe and then hit on the notification button to have our next video thank you for watching thank you for watching this series watch out for the next one please don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like thank you for watching